guys and welcome back to our channel. So in this video, I am going to be doing a Sephora haul. I went to Sephora earlier today. I figured I would come home and just film a video and show you guys what I got. So just a little disclaimer, everything that I did purchase, I purchased with my own money as well as these are not new products. They're not products that you have not already seen. These are just things that I have personally been wanting for a really long time. And I finally just bit the bullet and purchased it. So let's just get right into the video. The first thing that I did buy is the Gwen Stefani palette with Urban Decay. I mean the packaging first of all is just so pretty. I love anything that's shiny and gold and the colors in this palette is just so pretty and it just screams my name. Like all of these browns is just things that I gravitate to. But the main reason why I honestly bought this palette was because this color is just something that I would never ever put on my lids and that's why I wanted to just step out of my comfort zone and probably hopefully film a video using this blue shadow. It's, the name of it is Danger. Um, when you do buy the palette it also comes with like this little like sample of four lipsticks that Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani has which is pretty cool. I already know I'm going to probably love this color right here. It's called Ex-Girlfriend. It's just the pinky brownie nudes that I personally like. So I also got a couple other things from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I went in hoping to pick up a like liquid lipstick from them but unfortunately their liquid lipsticks quite honestly do not tailor to all the skin tones or even darker skin tones. So I ended up picking up a lip gloss and I'm so happy I did because I absolutely love it. This is in the color Kristen. Right? Yeah, Kristen. And this is what I'm wearing right now. I can already tell you right off the bat, this is going to be my all-time favorite. It's just so pretty. This is the packaging. I mean, the packaging is nothing, nothing fancy, but it's whatever. But the color is just so pretty. I did pair this with the Wet n Wild Maroon Lip Liner. That's the color right there. You guys can see it. It's just a very pinky nude. I love colors like this. And personally, I prefer to wear a lip gloss over a lip lipstick, an actual lipstick. Every day, any day, it's just comfortable for me to wear personally. And I just, I like gloss. Gloss is so sexy. I like it. So the second thing that I got from them is the brow definer. This is in the color dark brown. How I do my brows is I use the ColourPop Brow Pencil in the color black brown. I use that to, you know, outline and shape my brows and then I fill them in with powder. So I figured I would try this one out. I did use it. I don't know how I like it yet. It is very, like, waxy, which is good, but that makes it very difficult to apply. So I have to try this out a little bit more and, like, really test out whether or not I like it. The third thing that I got from them is the Brow Powder Duo. This is in the color Chocolate, I believe. Let me get it out. There we go. Yeah, it's in Chocolate. So like I said, how I do my brow is I use a pencil to um, outline and shape them, and then I fill them in using a powder. I figured I would just invest in a higher end powder because the one that I use is just it just comes in a regular palette and it's just a regular dark brown eyeshadow. So this I do like for sure. I had already used it. So this is definitely going to stay with me. The second palette that I got is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I mean, I love anything that's gold and that's neutral and this is everything that I want. So I finally picked this up. I've been wanting this for, I mean, years. As soon as it came out, I absolutely fell in love. I mean, I can already tell you this is going to be my favorite shadow right here. It's just so pretty. It's freaking frack. I did use this palette for the eye look that I have on. So if you guys do want to see the makeup tutorial on this look, just let us know and we 
will do that for you. So again, this is the Tartless in Bloom palette. Two things from Kat Von D. The first thing is the Tattoo Liner in the color Trooper. I mean, it's just, it has like a little ball inside and you shake it and there comes the liner. It's really black. I do find that I have to layer it a little bit, but it's fine. This is definitely an A plus in my book, but I don't know if I would hang up my Elf Cream Liner over this one. Only because the price and this is a like liquid and I personally prefer a gel. The second thing that I got from them is a liquid lipstick. They, they're Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the color Bow and Arrow. Oh, I hate saying this, but I don't like this. I really wanted like a really nice, like I love nudes. And it's just, I don't know, it just wasn't for me. Like it swatches beautifully on my hand, but when I put it on, it just, yeah, this is it right here. It just washes me out and it doesn't even like show on my skin tone, which sucks. The only way that I can get this to work for me is if I apply like a darker pinky nude on top of this and it looks absolutely beautiful. But for something that is so expensive, how much was it? I think it was like $20, $20 or something, 20 or 18 one of the two. I have to layer it. It's like, this will probably, I'm probably going to... I am probably going to return this or exchange it for something else. Uh, I was, I'm really disappointed in this product. So this primer is really expensive. Uh, I feel like everyone went out and bought this primer after Nicole talked about it on her YouTube channel. And it is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Primer. This primer is $45. It's a hell of a lot of money, I know that. but. I have tried, I feel like, every primer under the face of the earth, and this tops all of them. Um, if you do not want to go out and spend $45 on a primer and end up not liking it, I would tell you to go into to Sephora and ask them for a little sample, and that, that's exactly what I did. I didn't want to go out and spend $45 and then end up not liking a product, like for example, the Kat Von D liquid lipstick. I mean, that's really expensive. But anyways, go into there, get a sample, try it out, and I promise you, you will like it. First of all, when you put it on your face, it just fills in all of your pores. It leaves like a nice, clean, smooth canvas for your foundation, as well as the smell is just so luxurious and so, I don't want to say expensive, but it smells, it's that, it smells high end, and it's just, it does the job. I would suggest you go out and buy it if you're looking for a new primer and you want to splurge. Pick this up. Also got the Sephora Color Switch by Vera Mona. I did already use this, but I just put it back in the packaging to film this video. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. If anyone who is a makeup lover who loves playing with eyeshadow but absolutely hates cleaning their brush, I know I do. You should definitely go pick this up. This is like a holy grail product. I do think that you could probably make something like this at home, but hey, it's, this product is just something that I hold so close to my heart because I have gone into Sephora and every single time that I went in, I would always go in and swatch this and stare at it and it's just so damn expensive, but I finally went out and picked it up. And this is the Jaclyn Hill collaboration with Becca. And this is in Champagne Pop. I know everyone has it and I just felt so left out that everyone just has it and I don't and it looks so pretty on all its skin tones which is just awesome that they thought of that. So when you open it, I don't know if you guys can see it, it has this like little plastic. It says Becca and Jaclyn Hill and this is the highlighter. It is just so pretty. It's like a champagne, pinky, it's just, it's just so pretty. I don't even know if you guys can see it on my camera but that's it right there it does, honestly it, this doesn't know justice it's just so pretty I do have it on right now it's just I mean it just it speaks for itself I'm not even gonna say or explain anything about it if you don't have it pick it up that I got I actually didn't pay for it. it's it just so happens that when I went out and bought all of this stuff it is my birthday month if you guys didn't know my birthday is July 11th 
So Sephora was so kind enough to give me a little free gift. This is, I believe like it's just a Sprash the Soy Face Cleanser and then it comes with like a mask as well. I'm interested to use this because I've never used any of their products. Again, this is the cleanser and then the the face mask is this little thingy right here. Um, if you guys have ever used this, can you guys let me know in the comments below how you like it? I mean, does it do what it's supposed to do? I mean, I'm a little like... Like, look how that looks. That makes me so scared to use it. And it smells very, very spa-like, but I don't know. I'm interested to use it, but let me know first because I don't want to mess up my face and end up getting, like, breaks that break out everywhere. So, somebody let me know in the comments below if you guys have used this face mask from Fresh. Be the end of the video guys i hope you guys like it and if you guys did don't forget to give the video a thumbs up comment down below whatever you guys would like us to do and you want to see and thank you so much for watching bye